This is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center. And we've been getting a lot of snow outside here in St. Louis. And uh, I thought it was time to learn how to make some proper snow inside. A lot of people, when they make paper snowflakes, they make them like this. They're four-sided and can be quite lovely, but something just isn't right. So then other people try to make eight-sided snowflakes, which are also lovely, but doesn't seem quite right. Uh, in order to get a proper paper snowflake, you need to look to nature. So, snow is made from water, of course, and water is made from an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms that stick off the side, kind of like Mickey Mouse ears. And when those bond together, the best shape for them to make is a hexagon. So they end up making six-sided crystals, which is why snowflakes are six-sided, a bit more like this. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make. All you'll need is a piece of paper, and some good scissors, but you might want a protractor and a pencil, at least to get you started for the first one. The first step is to fold the paper in half, hamburger style, wide ways. And then you're not going to fold it in half and crease it, but you just want to find that middle point. So just find a little point there. And then you might want to mark it with a pencil, at least for your first one. And um, in order to fold this into thirds now, so we've folded it in half already, so now we'll fold it into thirds so that we get six sides, uh, you'll need to think about some math. So we have a protractor here, and you can see that a paper, one straight line across, is 180 degrees. We need to divide this into three pieces, so 180 divided by 3, so 18 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So we're going to measure out 60 degrees on here. You put your protractor right on that center dot in the middle of the folded edge of the paper, and then you measure 60 degrees from either side and make a little mark there, and then 60 more degrees, which will be at 120, or 60 degrees from the other side. And then you use the straight edge of your protractor to make a line that goes from that center dot to each of the degree marks. Then you can use these lines to fold along. Fold one side over, it should go right to there, and then the other side on top of it. And you have your paper folded in half and then into perfect thirds. Whatever way you do it, the next step is to fold the paper in half one more time so that each side of your snowflake is symmetrical. Then you can see that some of the paper is shorter and some is longer. We need to cut the paper off uh, so that all of the triangles are the same size. Like that. And now you can just get cutting. I recommend straight cuts, lots of little triangles, because real crystals have straight sides. They might have so many little straight sides that it looks curved, but straight sides usually give you better results. But be creative. So now I have lots of little cuts, maybe one more for good measure, and now it's time to carefully unfold it and see what we've made. As you can see, now we have a lovely six-sided snowflake. And snowflakes are neat because they're so symmetrical. There are six lines of symmetry, which means there are six ways we could fold this in half and have both sides be identical. Snowflakes also have rotational symmetry, which means that we can take it and then rotate it over 60 degrees, just like the sides, and it will look the same as when we started. So, grab some paper and scissors, have fun making a winter wonderland.